Okay, so I dragged out two PCs and I connected this PC to the switch and I got our DHCP server here. I restarted the DHCP server and set a new address pool and now these all these PC clients have IP addresses. So this one is uh, 192.168.1.1.102 and here is dot one dot one hundred dot one dot one hundred one one oh four and one oh three all right and so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to um, turn on port security and see if we can get that working right so right now just to test we're gonna try to ping from 103 here to 100 just to make sure that we have connectivity okay all right so there's a ping from 103 to 100 and you can see that replies all successful so just a quick test that so we can ping from 103 to 100 this guy right here in the middle and so now we're gonna set up port security on this switch alright so we're gonna go into the switch I'll get this in so you can see it and alright we're going to go into global configuration mode configure terminal all right, now we're in global config mode, and then I'm going to go into interface. Um, let's see here, FA0 slash 10. Okay, so I went into interface 10 because the switch port 10 is connected to this computer right here, right? All right, and now that I'm in there, I'm going to say switch tab completions for switch port. Okay, switch port mode access all right and I'll say switch port port dash security okay and that turns on port security right and then I'll say end and then maybe I'll do an, a control Z to exit and then I'll copy my configuration from running um, from running config from memory into startup config which is going to be saved and destination file name startup config yes okay so I just saved my configuration right and I turned on port security alright and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect and switch the connection from this PC over to this PC right and then we'll see what happens, right? We'll see if port security does anything. Just a default install. All right, and while we're waiting for that to either come up or go down, we will take a quick look at our running configuration. Show, run, tab, running config, right? Running dash config. And you'll see on 10, we've now got switch port mode access, switch port security. All right, and I'll close that. You can see here though that he's connected, but can he ping? So we'll open up here and we'll go to command prompt and ping. All right, and we're getting a reply, so we've got connected. So we've turned on port security but it really hasn't hasn't done anything right so that's no good so I'm gonna take this link and I'll put it back to the top PC okay so what we'll do is we'll go back into the switch and this time we'll do something different okay this time we'll do conf t short for configure terminal INT short for interface FA zero slash ten. So now I'm in interface um, interface configuration mode. And now what we'll do is we'll say switch tab switch port port tab port security right tab completion to complete from port to port dash security. That's the command we wanted, and we'll say maximum 
one. So that's one maximum uh, MAC addresses, one. We'll hit enter, right? We'll take that, okay? And then we'll do a similar command. Switch port, port, tab completion, port security, MAC. Let's hit the tab key to complete, MAC address, and then we'll say, tab sticky so this is the final command switch port port security mac address sticky we'll hit enter and then we'll hit end right okay looks good and now we'll have 100 ping 103 here get this on screen Okay, getting a reply. Um, I pinged the wrong person. Ping 104. There we go, that's the computer we wanted to talk to. We wanted 100, we ping ourselves here. Okay, request timed out. Nope, 104 is not the one we wanted to talk to. Hold on, control C to um, stop that command. We want to talk to 103. All right, there we go, 103. So we're pinging from 100 to 103, which is this computer right here. We got a reply. So now what I'm gonna do is go in the switch and take a look at the running config now. Show running config. And you see there it is, switch port security MAC address sticky, and there the MAC address stuck on. E803. And if we look at this PC right here, you see his MAC address is E803. So now these guys 100 just pinged 103, so we know they can communicate. Well, let's take this link, let's take it off, put it on the other PC, and see if port security uh, works and shuts down port 10 on the switch when it sees a new MAC address, right? So we put the computer onto the switch, and now we just need to test it. So we're gonna have 100 ping 104, which is his IP address right here. So we'll try that out. 104, and you can see right here that we're timing out. We'll close this, we're timing out, and still showing up. Let's try to ping the other way. Ping 100. And you can see it's timing out. And also look what's happened to the port. The line's gone down, the switch has actually shut down the port, and port security has been put in effect. So there's switch port security. Uh, port dash security, uh, MAC address sticky with a maximum life, port security maximum life, of only one MAC address. The last thing I want to do is do a show command. So we'll do a show port, port security, int for interface, fa0 slash 10, to show the port security on that interface. And if you do that, you'll get this information. See, port security is enabled. Port status, secure, shutdown. So it's in shutdown state right now. Violation mode, shutdown, 